welcome to Toffee TV. This video was taken from the footy show, which you can find over on patreon.com forward slash Toffee TV EFC. It's one of 10 exclusive videos we put out on Patreon every single week. Get over there and check it out. In this meeting, there's another thing which is, for me, it's just absolutely disgusting. I've got no time for this fella anyway, literally no time yeah. for him. He's just, he, I just think he's horrible, horrible fella. And he's a cheat, and I'm going to say it because he's come out and openly said about, I'm talking about Scudamore, um, Richard Scudamore. Mm. You know, I heard that uh, he's a slime ball. And again, there's another thing. I heard the thing, uh, an interview with him a couple of years ago when United had finished seventh when mm. Moyes was there, and it was, we've got to do everything we can to get Man United back in the top four. We've got to have our big brands at the top of this league. So that to me straight away is saying, we're going to rig the competition because it's better for the Premier League yeah. that those clubs are. So that to me is not a competition. It's not competition. Mm. If you're ensuring that the certain amount of teams do better than the others by helping them, then you, you're mm. taking competition out of it, which is everything that's set up for. Anyway, he's done other things. The clubs are made up for him because he's got them bigger and bigger and bigger deals. Right. So it's come out this week. Bruce Buck, who's a Chelsea knobhead, and their fans don't even like him. Has, has come out and said that every Premier League club should donate £250,000 to give Scudamore a golden handshake as he's leaving. I think because it's... that's what he needs because if he doesn't get it, yeah. he'll only, I think he's down to his last £20 million. Yeah, He's so, earned £27.5 million yeah. pounds so far from his role. Yeah. £27.5 so, million. Th in their world, though, and Bruce Buck's, um, he's an American, isn't he? Yeah, you know, yeah. Ca capitalist and all yeah. that. In their world, and I'm not getting into the... No, no. The right, the politics and the no. rights and wrongs. But in their world, that's probably not. That's what it, that's what they and do. Yeah. You know, well, bankers we, get heard, it. Yeah. That. Well, I mean, listen. It's a thing where, and I understand, and I understand this. They they say, you know, if you earn, if you generate big money for us, you deserve a bonus. Mm. No, I understand that. I understand yeah. that. It's it's like anything in life. You know, if you if you earn, if you if your job is to earn money for someone, mm. but you go be over. Above, above and beyond, and beyond that, that you get a then bonus. you get a bonus and I've got no problem and I know in America actually bonuses are a big part of people's salaries That's the thing, you yeah. know as in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation you know without, mm. without the without his bonus he can't get the pool Baz no. he cannot get the pool um, beyond soon watch it best, one of the best it Christmas is, films ever up and he with, goes in shopping for his missus oh, it's, as a Christmas film it's up there with Die Hard it really is um, which isn't a Christmas well, it, film it, ironically it is a Christmas film it's, it not, is. it's not we'll do this in a we'll couple of weeks but it, it really but is. It is. It is you know that it was released at the end of February it doesn't matter the book was, the book that it was taken from released is, at the end of February can't be a Christmas film the book it was taken was a summer movie or something then exactly a summer movie I know there you well but, it was released hang on Iron Man 3 is a summer movie but it was made it was, it was a Christmas yeah, film not a Christmas it's all set to Christmas. Diad but Christmas the point film. being is, is that in those days, you, films didn't make it any money at yeah. Christmas, so yeah. they released them in the summer. Yeah. Anyway, Diad moving on. The Christmas film. It is. Next one. Right. So, bonuses are a big thing in yeah. their world. Of so, course. So, but I don't understand why they expect the clubs to pay. Why? Mm -hmm. The Premier League makes millions of pounds. It has millions of it has licensing deals that and that's what he's done. He's licensed the Premier League to mm -hmm. the to the inch of its life. You know, it's got everything. It's very, very clever, very forward thinking. You know, loads of things. You know, you, you only have to look at things like, um, and I think this might have been before this time, but things like the numbers on the back of the shirts, mm. like they're all the same, it's all embossed. Um, and you've seen other leagues follow that because they know it brings in, everyone does it now. Everyone has followed oh, the Premier yeah, League's yeah. league yeah. because what it did was it created this central pot of money that they controlled. So you're seeing, You've seen, you see, you've seen UEFA do it in the last few years, where instead of everyone just doing their own TV deals, it went through them, and that's why everything's embossed with FIFA are doing UEFA it. on it, and that's why they've brought this, essentially, brought that league out Nations so that league, yeah. so that they can control it all. Spain, I think Real Madrid lost a court case this week because they they refused to wear the numbers that the, the Spanish league had told them they had to wear, mm. and they've lost that now because it's like no. You're you, part, of, you're that part of that. You signed up, and that's what the Premier League helps start. Mm. They can market, and that's where they make everyone all the money. But to say that we all have to, all our clubs have to put two hundred and fifty thousand pounds in a in a in a in a pot. It's just, it's what it is. Is it's so out of touch 
with the rest of the way the world is. Mm. It's only just our country, the way our country is at the moment. It's just, it leaves just a really bitter taste in your mouth when clubs are asking for money for charities and, uh, and, and food banks. You know, we have food banks turning up at Goodison, which our club, luckily, are one of the best they're trying to help with. They'll mm. do anything. We've seen things today saying that they're doing this, uh, this Lee Butler r- yeah, rave yeah. on, and, and it's, you know, all those things, and then they go, well, hang on, here's £250,000, thanks very much, mm. to some fella yeah. who's leaving. No, it's disgusting. It's disg- I don't think he deserves it anyway. They well, will, they will. I'm they talking will. for well, the fans. The reason why someone like Bruce Bork has put it forward, I know he's the head of the thing, but he'll put it forward because Scudamore, in one of his last acts, as the Premier League chief executive, changed the rules mm. so that the top six get more yeah, money more than, than anyone else. else yeah. Whereas it, it's an even split for TV. But the pressure from the top six, because they are the people who everyone wants to watch abroad, which goes against the competition of the of it. Mm. But because the pre- so each one of his last things, see you lads. Yeah. And you can imagine, couldn't you? All going around the table, going, listen, you do that for us, and we'll make sure you get a fantastic. Mm. Well, and, can, and, and it's been done. Then they can and it's already do been then. done. The top and, six can put their hand in the pocket. Yeah, they can pay Give them a million yeah. quid each. Give them six million. And do you want to? It's just to me, it's disgusting. I think he's damaged the Premier League from a from a, a, a support well, you know point of view. Only I, to be honest with you, right? It's only this final act I've really got a problem. I don't really, I can't really put my hand on my heart and say I've really got a problem with anything else he's done. I know oh, the I thing. Can. I know that. Well, I know the thing with Man United is it, it's one of those remarks that. <laughs> sorry, I've just seen how you've wrote Scudamore, more, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, Don't put that on. I, I can't say that. And I'm not gonna sit here and go, Oh, that's you know, I, mm. I, he said something and sometimes people say stupid things and he has, but as an actual act, an actual thing that you can say on paper, that what he's done with allowing the top six to get more money from the overseas T V deal, mm. that's terrible. 